Hi guys, um, happy vlog day, vlogtober, day three. Today I am just gonna do a vlog because why not? Um, so it is the middle of the afternoon. I had some business stuff to take care of this morning with some school stuff and yeah. Good old goody two shoe stuff. <laughs> um, now I am, well, I stopped by Tokyo Central because I wanted some spam sushi, although I couldn't, I ate one piece. Yeah, it was delish. And now I'm really full, so I'm like over it. And oh, what? Oh, I was gonna show you guys. You wanna see what I got? I went to Daiso. I know, just cheap little stuff. I got a cute little Halloween bag for my kiddo for trick or treating. And then I got some soy sauce candy. And I actually just went in for the coffee filters. And then I saw this little cup, Mickey Mouse um, cup, mug, silicone cup whatever you want to call it I don't know see how you can see it covers mugs um yeah because if you know me then you know then you know right and then I got this cute little Ariel lunchbox because I was like when do they ever have Ariel stuff but then I realized they have a lot of Disney stuff there a lot I just never go there but I just happened to be next to Tokyo Central I mean it's right next to Tokyo Central but anyway it's a cute little Ariel bag it says Ariel have you ever seen anything so wonderful and yeah, that's it though, so far. And I meant to vlog earlier, honestly, but I was talking to my mom while I was shopping around. Um, yeah, but I did come for the food. It is what it is. And I think that's it for now. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. So I think I'm going to go pick up my prescriptions and then possibly head home and do homework. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I need to talk to Ricky about whatever happened with some school meeting thing. And then, yeah, um, my cat needs some cat food though. So I'm trying to figure out if I just want to go buy some or if I want to go get some from there. I haven't really decided. To be honest it is what it is uh yeah but i don't think i want to go there because i really want to get some stuff done today so there you go i'm kind of sad i was going to read last night and then i ended up just going to sleep which sucked but that's okay and yeah i think i'm probably just going to go home and do homework but i'll show you guys my little process of doing homework and maybe i'll talk a little bit about school or something i don't know we'll see but in the meantime i'm gonna let you guys go for now and I will check back in with you in a bit. So I stopped at Target to get cat litter and cat food and now I'm at Starbucks. <laughs> you know. All right guys, so after a quick detour to Target, <sighs> I'm on my way to the medical mall to pick up my prescriptions, hopefully. And I got my Starbucks because, <laughs> you know, girl can't live without it. I may not be able to eat, but I drink a lot of fluids. Oh, and I got a cup of ice for my iced tea that already has ice in it, but you know. Tea is so good. I love their tea. Although, I think... I don't know. Something smells. I think it's the lid, to be honest. I really need to clean this cup. I cleaned it though, that's the weird part, with soap and everything. So maybe it just needs to be decontaminated and then sit for a while. But I love my Stanley, so it's hard. I know, I need more Stanleys because let me tell you, this girl is addicted to ice cold tea. Okay. On that note, I'm going to drive over to the medical, medical mall and then we're driving home and then we're staying home and that, that's going to be that. That's all I'm going to say. 
So, that being said, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, so this is where my doctor is at, but we're not going there today. We're going across to St. Mary's. And I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Uh, yeah, you can. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love this house. I will always have a separate place in my heart. Anyway, yeah, see, that's, that's my doctor's office. Mm -hmm. I swear, I have the best bariatric surgeon ever. I love her to death. Not sure if she's ever gonna watch this, but if you're ever watching this, I love you. You're amazing. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to the medical mall to go pick up my prescriptions. And then I usually walk over from the doctor's office because it's literally right across the street. And before I was going to Walmart and it was such a freaking hassle. And then they like needed an insurance clearance and then they needed a doctor's clearance and then they needed insurance clearance again. And it was like so random. I do have to jaywalk though, that's the shitty part. But whatever. Anyway, um, yeah. But we don't know if it's gonna be in or not because apparently she said some of them didn't go in whenever she was trying to put them through. So she was like, let me know if you get them or not. So I'm gonna try and then if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Dignity Health for all their, they, they, the, the ER has some little crazy people, but that's okay. But everybody in the hospital part is like, the nurses are phenomenal. I love them all. I haven't had a bad nurse from there yet. Um, only ones in the ER, but even those ones, like I'm pretty sure they're tired of me going there from being dehydrated. <sighs> it is what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. So their Quest Diagnostics is literally right there. And then over here is where my pharmacy is at. And yeah, anyway, I love being here. I know I'm so weird. I feel like I could just come and chill and just do homework and feel like super encouraged if I did that. But you know, sometimes you don't really wanna do that, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I don't know. See, for me, it's inspiring, but I was, the whole surgery thing kind of changed me a lot. So, I don't know. I was just super inspired by the whole thing instead of the opposite. <laughs> um, I was actually really scared, and I think because I was so scared, whenever everything that happened and just seeing, like, the shortage and everything, and I really wanted to help. And that's why I decided I was going to go for surge tech. And then I was like, now I just really want to work with my doctor and see what I can do. Okay, it didn't go through, so now we wait for something. I don't know. I texted the doctor, so we'll see what she says. I feel bad because I know she's working, so she's probably not going to answer me right away. <sighs> oh well. I'm going to walk back over to my car, and then uh, there's a dead bird on the ground. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Oh. So, I'm gonna go back to my car and probably go home. Good thing, I think I have a, like a day or two left on my prescription, so hopefully that should last me. We'll see until, yeah, I should be able to come back tomorrow. If not, I'll send somebody. Because, you know, I'm nice. And I'm just kidding. I'll send my ex over to get it. With my kid. They know where to go. They've been here <laughs> for me. <sighs> anyway. Uh, yeah. 
Well, that sucked. But it's okay because it was on my way home, so it's not like I was going out of the way or anything. It's just... It is what it is, right? And what else? Uh, let's see. I'm walking now, so don't mind me. I really need to pee though, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about that, other than I'm kind of excited to go home and do my homework now. I know, I'm weird. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. I need to go check the study.com thing and then figure out what I have to do with that because that's homework itself. And then I have a midterm on Friday, I believe. And um, yeah. So that's that. Bye C Mary's. We love you. You're amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm at the back of the office now. Awkward. You know what I mean? Weird. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, I swear. Okay, so you guys have to understand, my surgeon was like the coolest person ever. And like, I mean, person-wise, I mean, I haven't hung out with her or anything, obviously. But I kind of have because I've been here enough times. But like, just the things that she tells me and the reason why she does what she does. And like, I mean, she could be making high $9, you know what I mean? But she's only here helping people that like are literally on Medi-Cal like myself, right? or trying to find their way in the world. And like, she loves her job. And that's really cool. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So, shout out to Dr. Stanchek because that's really awesome. Makes me want to be a better person, you know? Okay, I'm going to check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okay. Alright guys, change of plans. We are heading to... Ricky's because I need to do laundry and uh, have a lot of shit going on and I don't know, just a lot. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm in not scrubs and I have school stuff that I'm going to work on tonight. So I'm taking that with me too, but I need to do laundry. Um, I was going to take a shower at my house, but I'm just going to take one there because they have a big shower room that I don't have to worry so much about. The freaking water temperature burning you. Okay, it doesn't really burn you, but it's really hot in the summer, so like, it's really hot, period. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't burn you, I can't say that. But you know, sometimes you want a nice cool shower, especially when it's nice and hot out, you know? I do not know what the heck is going on here, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, my Lord. Okay, can I get over? Because, you know. <sighs> you know, I'm just gonna stay here. Oh, they're shooting a movie by my house. I don't know what they're shooting, but like, they're is police and acting chairs and all kinds of other crap everywhere here. It's kind of cool and kind of obnoxious at the same time. Um, yeah, that's what we get for living in a... But they're cleaning up, it looks like. But they have, like, the whole area closed today, apparently. I don't know. I'm usually out and about during this time. Oh, and they have a bunch of old cop cars, which is even cooler. Anyway, that's that. I don't know what they're shooting, but whatever. I hope it's good. I hope I see the movie. <laughs> I could be like, hey. 
Yeah, they have a wall. They have a bunch of old cars parked over there. It's pretty cool. I would show you guys, but there's literally a cop behind me, so that's exciting for nobody. Okay, I'm gonna be nice and let you go, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, there's Popo everywhere. I'm not even gonna touch my phone right now to turn you guys off because I just don't want it to be an issue. Anyway. I mean, I don't think anybody's even in the cop car. I think they're just doing it to block off the area. But, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to Ricky's house. I think we're going to go eat Olive Garden because he has a gift card. And I was like, I'm starving. Come over. Let's use this gift card. And I'm like, okay. Free food. Um, I think that's it. I don't know. I'm going to try to do homework kind of like killed my homework day but that's okay I'll try to stay up a little bit tonight I do have to work tomorrow so I'm trying to like you know weigh out my it be what it be and that's what it be right anyway weigh out my options how about that um what else for now so welcome to a day in my life of driving everywhere around LA yeah that's it okay I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit after I get situated and figure out life bye all right the infamous drive getting on to the 710 where it's all messed up Apparently, they're going to be redoing this in the next eight years, supposedly. I don't know. According to a civil engineer that I talked to today, he said that they're, like, expanding the ports and the railroad tracks. Whoop. Yeah, yeah, it does that on this thing because, you know. Whatever. Anyway, this is my beautiful drive, and I love it. And, yeah. Boy. Sorry, it's all bumpy because this road sucks. I hope they redo the road while they're at it. Just kidding. He said the 710 is going to be all messed up though, so I'm not looking forward to that part. But I don't know how they're going to do that because the public mix are coming and they're supposed to be in one beach as well. So we'll see. Let's see if we hit traffic when we get over the hill over here where the traffic usually starts out. And let's see, let's see. What do you think? Taking bets. I bet there's gonna be traffic. Oh, look at that beautiful mess. All right, well, okay, on that note, I'm gonna let you guys go because I got driving this mess. Welcome to LA. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out. Um, I will check back with you, with you, in with you, and okay, go ahead. Bro, <laughs> once upon a time about a scary story. There was a guy named Richard David, I don't know who he is, <laughs> who gave birth to a very scary little ghost who was annoying as all hell and made everybody <laughs> mad every single day. We love him, but he drives us nuts. That is all. He make Bye. Me mad you took over the story. All right, y'all, I'm ending this vlog here because I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I didn't film anything at the Olive Garden. It was delicious. And came home. I'm going to lay down. Well, I came to Lewis's, in Lynn Lewis's room, or Ricky's house. And it's time for bed because I'm tired. I'm at least gonna lay down and read a little bit and then see what happens. If I'm still up later, then I'll I'll uh, throw in some footage or something. But right now I'm just gonna go to sleep. I know I just took a shower. My eyes are like dark. I need to fix all that. Oh well. It is what it is. Life's rough. Bye.